What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Pipes and Guitars, where I like to talk about my two loves, pipes and guitars. So today, special crack on the 10 episode, today we are doing Cornell and Dill's Small Batch San Sepulcro. That's a little confusing. Um, when I saw this for the first time, uh, I've never smoked this. Apparently they've been doing this since 2016. They've been putting out little small batch versions of these uh, Dark Fire Kentuckys. Uh, it says made in the Carolinas and the name of the blend is right there teeny tiny San Sepulcro uh, Which is a town in Italy. Let me read you the back of ten. Let's see what it says merging the old world with the new San Sepulcro is a very special entry into the small batch project Carefully bl blended from unique Italian dark fired florets and some of the finest red Virginias from North Carolina Aromatically spicy and earthy, clove-like with undertones, these florets are all grown in the San Sepulcro region of Italy, which boasts a history and tradition of tobacco cultivation to the 17th century. Combined with mellow citrus and bread-like notes of the reds, it makes for a wonderful melange of flavors and aromas. Great word. At once both familiar and exotic. Now there's a little bit more here. I'm going to read this for you. It seems so obvious. A line of limited run small batch blends as a means to show off some old recipes and try out some new ones. An opportunity to flex our creative muscles. Here at C&D we set the standard for boutique hand blended pipe tobacco by adhering to a simple idea. Quality trumps quantity. Every time. Okay, so sounds great. I have never smoked this before. I hope it's really good. Inside, we're going to have some cigar leaf, some Kentucky, and some Virginia. Should be a broken flake. Let's crack the tin. Tops off. Here we go. Ah, yeah. Okay. Putting that over to the side. Got this little thing right here. Have a look at that. It's pretty dry. Man, this stuff's ready to smoke. Nice and dry, I think. Very nice. You can definitely smell that Virginia hay kind of grassy. That grassy Virginia smell in there. You can definitely see the Kentucky in there, along with Virginia. Here's a, here's a piece that's kind of still stuck together. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It smells good. Let's give it a shot. Today I have my Savinelli Roma. I thought that was fitting. Roma, Italy, San Sepulcro. All right, let's load her up, see how she smokes. All right, like I've been telling you guys, I'm trying to do a few more Virginia blends. You know, I'm a big Latakia fan, so I tend to only smoke Latakia, which you can't do, especially if you're a tobacco reviewer on YouTube. You gotta expand. So here we have Cornell and Dill's Small Batch San Sepulcro in my Roma, shape 320, author shape. Let's light it up, see how she does. Got a lighter. Ah, there we go. Tobacco rise. Uh, the tobacco rose up quite a bit when I lit it. All right, definitely getting that sweet hay kind of flavor from the Virginias. Really good aftertaste. You know, that sweetness is just all over the place. Really good so far. Getting some of that cigar leaf, which is really good. I'm a fan of cigars, so I really like that flavor, and it's kind of acting, uh, it's acting as a condiment with the Virginias, which is good. It's in the background. Uh, it's really good so far. Smooth and sweet, smoking nice and cool. Uh, was pretty dry right out of the tin, which is great. You know, you didn't have to dry it out at all. So far, really nice. All right, so first impressions. Pretty good. I really like this. Um, 
like I said, I'm still a huge lot of Kia fan. I'm trying to come over to Virginia's a little bit, see if I can find one that I really, really enjoy. I need to smoke this for at least a week and get back to you and let you know my complete review. I need to smoke this for a while. Uh, first, first puff, really good, but it's changing as I go, which it's supposed to. I don't know if you guys saw, but I did a review of the Gatlin Burlier Tobacconist. Uh, that was my last video. If you haven't seen that, check it out. I'll put a link in the uh, at the end of the video if you want to check it out. All right, now it's kind of turning to that doughy, yeasty kind of bread flavor, which is also nice. All right, so that's this episode of Crack of the Tent. I need to smoke this for a week and get back with you with a full review. Uh, I will be doing a musical tobacco review on this, not this Friday, but next Friday, I'll be writing a piece for Court Allen Deal's Small Batch San Sepulcro. So that's it for this episode of Crack on the Tin. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Remember, love life. Smoke a pipe. Keep on picking. I'll see you next time. All right, you made it all the way to the end of the video. Congratulations. I'm going to put a couple of other videos up there for you to check out. One of them, I think the top one, will be the Gatlin Burlier visit. If you want to check that out, check it out. Remember, if you like the content you've seen here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're growing a little bit every day. We could really use your help. Or you can stay here and smoke with me. Yes. <laughs>